happy holidays from Kate from Into Indie and I'm Kelly from Big Hair and Foodie Fair. We are so excited to partner with West Fork Whiskey, a local whiskey distiller in Indiana for some holiday cheer. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it and toast with a shot of bourbon. Cheers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers to the bartender, which, which that's me right now. So. <laughs> Ooh, this alligator just got caught in my nostril. <laughs> I haven't brought out shot glasses since college. So this is my Nantucket one, and then this is my alligator one. <laughs> Lovely. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna start it off with a pumpkin spice cocktail. Usually I would do this in a martini glass, but Kate and I are feeling the rocks glasses today. So um, the recipe that I'm gonna give you for this is um, for two cocktails or two martinis, and we will also do a blog post for you guys so you can see um, the ingredient amounts of what it would take to make one. We'll link it in the bio, so if you have any questions or you wanna pin it on Pinterest, you can do that as well. Okay, oh, so we'll go ahead and start off with garnishing our glasses. I have a little tub of Cool Whip here, whip topping. So you're just going to take your glass and lightly take the rim and just turn it around like so. And then I have some crushed graham crackers and you're just gonna turn it around lightly in this plate with the crushed graham crackers on it. So, can we do this one? Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. So, we'll go ahead and set that up there. And next, we are going to build this cocktail over ice. So, usually, whenever I make a cocktail, I use a certain ratio of liquor to liqueur and other ingredients. So, our liquor for this is going to be the West Fork bourbon. And this is our classic one, this is the Colonel. Um, if you are looking for the perfect gift for the whiskey or bourbon lover, I highly recommend this one. This is like their like original go-to standard one. So I love it, it's got, it's got a little bit of a kick to it and it, it's just delicious. Something else that's really cool, it's made with Indiana corn and the, the mash is all Indiana sourced, so. Yeah, which is Super crazy. Local. Um, so first of all, we started out with about three ounces of this. I would say one and a half ounces per cocktail. And then we're going to add some liqueur. I chose the rum chata. I think that this has a really nice light flavor for the holiday. Everyone loves rum chata. So I'm going to do one ounce total of this. And this can work with any type of, you know, like a creamy base liqueur, right? Like you could use Bailey's. Yes. Or, or you could just um, put this in your coffee. Yeah. You could do a nice vanilla martini with it. Those make me think of college and we would have these, I'm sure you guys can relate to the Fruit Loop shots where it, I don't know what was in it. But they're good. They're delicious. They're so good. So lo love a, I love a good cocktail. Now that I'm, you know, you're not, you're just drinking to get totally schlockered. You want to enjoy your cocktail. Well, these will be great for your at home bougie holiday party. So, <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so something else I want to point out is we are using the Harris Sugar Bush. Um, maple syrup. So whenever you're using a dark liquor, I like to use a dark sweetener. So if you're using vodka, you might want to use simple syrup. If you're using a dark liquor, um, maybe a brown sugar simple syrup or maple syrup is always a great alternative. So we're going to put some of that in here. Let's see, probably about an ounce total. And then I'm going to do three tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Real pumpkin. 100% real, all natural, which is great. If you are a pumpkin spice lover, you're gonna really like this one. So then we're gonna add about an ounce of heavy cream. So these are, it's more like a dessert cocktail. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna have a kick to it, but ladies, y'all are gonna love this. Count me in. <laughs> so um, we're gonna do a dash of pumpkin spice. If you don't have pumpkin spice, you can use cinnamon, you can use Allspice, although I recommend you need just a little bit less allspice, um, or not or, but you're also going to add a dash, um, probably about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Could you add a little bit of nutmeg in here? You could, yeah. And that's not open. <laughs> but it's just, just for the wine. Open, okay. <laughs> My apologies. All right. And if you guys, if you are looking for a good place to pick up holiday spices, I'm an Aldi ride or die. I love Aldi. You can get these for like a dollar or two dollars. So, which is definitely a way to save money on your cooking hacks and grocery shopping. And Aldi's my favorite place to get like cheese plate 
that paraphernalia. Too. Yes. Charcuterie cheese plate. They have the best cranberry and like I think it's like a cheddar log. It's insane. Oh, I haven't had that. Oh yeah. Oh, cheese, like cheese log? Give yes. me a call. Yes. Okay, so as I said, I built my martini in the shaker. I'm gonna make sure that it's closed with this pint glass here and you're gonna give it, I don't know, let's do 10 good shakes. <laughs> Resident bartender, former bartender here I should say. So she's professional. I'm just, I'm just here for <laughs> moral support. Actually, I will strain it up here so you guys can see. Can you hand me my strainer there, Kate? Yeah, I sure can. Okay, Kate, what is your favorite cocktail around Christmas time? You know, I, I can never get on board with eggnog, but I do love, I love like anything with like a good chocolate in it or I mean even a little bit of peppermint schnapps but do you drink booze in your eggnog I do but I, I, st I just it just doesn't do it for me are you an eggnog drinker I'll drink it with whiskey in it yeah <laughs> yeah okay yeah, so yeah I'm gonna make you taste that before I taste it okay so you can be honest with so me this is the final outcome cheers cheers <laughs> It looks good. Does it taste like pie? It's really good. Oh yeah. Okay. Like a drinkable pumpkin pie. This is perfect. And I love the rim because I could just sit here and, you know, it's good. It looks good. Cheers to that. Chug it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, for our second drink, we are going to make a cranberry cinnamon bourbon smash. And I am not so great at bartending, so I'm gonna have Kelly walk me through it. But I do wanna feature, so the last one we've used the Colonel um, Whiskey Bourbon. This is the cinnamon flavored whiskey from West Fork Whiskey, third degree. So this is like your naturally flavored fireball. It doesn't have that weird after like sweet taste. Way better than fireball. Way, way better. So I'm excited to make this drink. So, all right. I'm gonna have Kelly help me through this and show you guys at home how easy it is to make this because like I said, otherwise I'm totally lost. So where do I start? Okay, so I just wanna point out that our last cocktail we made was a little bit more in depth. It had a lot more ingredients and there is definitely something to be said for a simple cocktail. Anyone can make this one. So um, we just have two glasses right here. We've got the ice set in them already. And then Kate and I made the garnishes beforehand, which I'll have her show you. Super simple. They're fresh cranberries and a sprig of rosemary, which are really beautiful and they're also very aromatic. So you're just amazing. gonna place them on top of the ice in your glass. Whenever you go down for a drink, you're gonna get a hint of that rosemary along with your cocktail and it's gonna blend together very nicely. Um, so technically with this cocktail, you don't have to build it over ice, but we're gonna go ahead and do that because we're making two at the same time. So you're gonna take your shaker tin here. We've got some ice cubes in it. And then we're going to start with our liquor. In this case, we'll call it a spirit since it's a blend. How much are we putting in there for two drinks? So since this is gonna be the only alcoholic ingredient we're using, we're gonna use two ounces per cocktail for a total of four ounces. So if I'm pouring, how many seconds should I count towards? <laughs> um, usually you would use a jigger at home, um, which is easy for you to measure it out, but I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. Okay. So go ahead. A little heavier there, Kate. <laughs> okay, that's okay. about right. That's about right. So as I said, we're gonna make this cocktail really simple. So something that always pairs really nicely with whiskey is a little bit of fresh lime juice. We didn't have any fresh limes, so we're gonna use some bottled lime juice that we just happen to have. Yeah, I actually found this at Walmart in like their cocktail section. They have a whole bunch of like lemon juices, lime juices, Honestly, anything you need for a drink head, you know, pre-made Bloody Mary mixes. If you're looking for something easy, you know, like I think we would both prefer like a freshly squeezed lime juice, but this is just simple and easy right. and, you know, great to bring with you if you're going to a party and you want to make it there. Grab one of yeah. these. So a little bit of citrus is always great to go with almost any liquor. So we're going to add, let's add, let's see. You can't add a dash. There's no. Just like a little like. Yeah, just add a splash of lime juice there. Okay, ready? Yeah. That's good, there we go. Um, and then we're going to do about an ounce of simple syrup, which you can make at home. And whenever I make simple syrup at home, I do equal parts sugar, equal parts water. You boil it on the stove until the sugar dissolves. Um, but you can also buy simple syrup in your cocktail section if you're in a hurry, or if you wanna take something that's pre-bottled to a party to make. Okay. That's 
That's probably Good. it. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we are going to go ahead and shake that up and we'll strain it over the ice. And then we do have a mixer that we're going to add on top. I'm nervous. My oats is going to go everywhere. I don't know. We make sure it's... <laughs> okay. So when you, when you shake it, yeah. hold one hand on top of the glass. Do I hold the and bottom? Then, yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Hold, don't, don't do it like this. Like, hold the like top. Hold it? it. Yeah. Okay. It's... Do the claw. There you go. That's good. Good? Keep going. You want it to be cold. Keep going. Keep going. The West Fork Whiskey <laughs> Party. Yeah. Okay, that's probably good. Okay. Okay, so the easy way, if you have a pint glass and a shaker, and it feels like it's stuck together, is if you have a bar top or a table, just slam it against the side a little bit, and it'll come loose. Awesome. So that's, sorry I did that for you. Oh, that's good. thank you. So here's your strainer. Okay. You're going to strain half and half over each glass. Okay. Just put this down, right? Um, well, you, you could do that, but I do it like this. this. Oh. I, I hold that on top just with one finger and pour. Can you guys tell I've never been a bartender before? Okay, so I'm just pouring it. Mm -hmm. Just halfway full. You're gonna just make sure that it, you can split it between the two glasses. All right. Perfect. Yeah. And then right. we're going to top it with a little cranberry juice. All right. Just a splash or just like a little? Um, let's give it about half an ounce. Good. Yep, that's great. Cause we're also gonna top it with something that has a little effervescence to it. Kate and I are using the Moet and Shandon. You can use ginger beer. You can use, um, we even, we thought about using a like kombucha, like Circle City kombucha feel good soda. Yeah, you want something with a little bit of tartness to it. So definitely. I'll have you top both of those with that. We're just a little bougie. So we're using some, some bubbles there, but you could use um, ginger ale or ginger beer as well. And that also always pairs really nicely with anything cranberry or bourbon. So now you're just going to add your garnishes. Do I lay it in the drink or do I lay it on the drink? Whatever you, whatever feels good to you, girl. I'll do one in, one on. Okay. And the best part is your guests probably won't know <laughs> what it's supposed to be either. So I would just go with the flow. So this is our cinnamon cranberry bourbon smash. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Right. I'm going to put mine down in there just to taste it. Yep. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> and also, this is a drink that the guys at the party will love too. It's not super girly. It's got that nice bourbon taste to it. It's not overly sweet. And I think they would be more impressed too because it's so common for us to make mixed drinks with like gin or vodka, but to really have a good bourbon. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is, like I said, third degree is one of my favorite whiskeys that they carry. So the cinnamon is actually, it's really nice. It's not, I haven't tasted it before. So it's not what I, it's not what <laughs> it's I expected impression. it to be at all. Yeah. Cool. It's really nice. So cheers to that. Cheers. We hope that you guys have a very great holiday season and let us know below. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe. If you make our cocktails, we would love to see us tagged in it. Tag us on Instagram. I'll leave our handles below. And Do you yeah. guys want to see more cocktail videos? I guess that's the question, right? Let us know. We are more than happy to drink and be merry and share our cocktails with you. Hey, that's Cheers, what guys. we're good at. <laughs> Albie. Do you like West Fork whiskey? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> that's good on the outtakes.